so hello guys welcome back to my channel uh, my name is pranay and you are watching rtds and this is my first video on voice recording in zbrush and i am going to make this class zbrush with the z modeler tool and let's start okay so first things first that uh, we are going to uh, take a cylinder for this shape the glass cover and then we go for next step so first i have taken a sphere and i am replacing it with a cylinder so there is a cylinder so firstly we will need to change the shape of the cylinder so we are going to do this like this and in the side view like this and we need to make this shape this oval shape so i'm going to scale it to the x axis and a little bit firstly uh, i'm going to scale this part and squeeze this part up and up and down so let's take a move infinite touch you can check on pm and then you can find this brush here so this 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 okay so i think it's the basic shape of so i will delete this edges by selecting the z modeler brush you can see 3z m and select uh, the edge and space bar so you can delete the uh, edges by uh, selecting delete or insert edges and when you go for the delete edges then press alt just click on the edge it will be deleted instantly so that's okay so this is done to make uh, this uh, path the hollow portion so i need to do a edge loop in here and back side in here so first of all i will now on the symmetry which is z symmetry that i can work with both side z axis so like this you see here edges here edges and uh, i will select this part uh, this all faces and delete them and reach the edges to of this so i will delete by pressing uh, alt and polygrouping the total area and then i can easily cube mesh it and just cube mesh and polygroup all the white portion will be deleted like this uh, i think it will be a error uh, you can delete it by pressing the delete in single poly delete delete okay delete and here you can see the edge is not looking here so delete the poly and space bridge edges click 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 okay so i got this uh, shape and if you uh, need the glass like this shape you can make just duplicate it and of the face and just make the path your polygroup poly loop okay so i i i need the red red part and i need to they do not need the blue part so you can delete it by just uh, take a poly face space bar and delete polygroup all so it will be deleted the blue part only so then click it will be deleted and if you want to uh, see the other parts that disappearing right now so you can go to uh, display properties Double. Okay. Right now, I just need to select the edge, close convex hole circle, so that it will close the circle like this, and just scale it. So it will be a plus. Make a little difference on left, and just see plugging subtool master mirror, and I will take this into one subtool and x axis. So this plus. is ready and now it's time for bridges the classes so at first i will take the insert and delete this only part and bridge it bridge two holes you can uh, edge by edge bridge edge by edge by clicking this or you can just go for edge bridges two holes circles uh, now we just will uh, take this as a circle so we can click first hole and second it will be like this and it is now little bumpy so if i go for this it will go some up like this and this is should be little go further okay so i will just crease this edges and this edges also And if I now press D, you'll see 
the hard edge is sticking very clearly and here is the creases for that you can see here it's stitching and so we can crease this also here and then here okay so so if you want you can merge it and just bend it slightly like i am doing right now just to over this okay uh, i will just make an edge here at the center so for the center edges you can select multiple edge loop and select the specific resolution to one and just click it and it will take a center point okay so i will mask this out and this out also only leave this edge so that it will remain the same after i rotate it and i will open on the x symmetry and just clearly take here and just go up just inverse the mask and just go for this and just okay uh, you can take this shape for the pet so how can i take this so i will just auto group no go for poly group and take auto group it will be a uh, separate object for separate group and just select this mask it and just separate it like mask split mask point and of the plus and take this part for the pet i will take this edges for the pet and it will be duplicate and take the, you know this is for the uh, safe uh, this is for the cover i just duplicate it you can off top and i will work for this i will select the white area only so control shift on the blue area the white area will be disappear or hidden and then control shift click on the blue area the blue area will be hidden and then i can just go for modify topology and delete it it will be deleted okay, so now i need to close this hole so how can i do that i will do get c model brush and go for go for the edges close convex hole circle you can see you can also delete this edges right here and also this okay so right now this part which is this so this and uh, this shape is ready for edges so i will insert an edge like this like this this so it will be a nose up edge this and go a little bit higher from the bottom we can take the side view for this so we can do here that geometry zero measure same keep the pre zone and detect edge on just click on zero measure it is uh, getting half right now uh, so we can curve stain the adaptiveness so now little bit and same of target to be like this so you can also sculpt on this or you, if you need little a uh, little bit lower geometry so you can decrease the target poly count to 4.7 or 4.1 so after I've done this you can now take the half side of of the poly group and this will be a good and now we are going to make it some thicker so go for the face give mesh poly group one just make it thick and i still need this to be beveled so this and i don't need this edges to be creased so and crease it by crease selecting the crease and pressing the alt key for the creasing and this i don't need this yes make the glass little bit smaller and make to make this closer and also this
and this edge needs to be scaled a little bit like this and this is misplaced so we need to adjust this first and i will take it a little bit lower so the glass is ready and the pad is ready so it's time for the glass belt you know like this so it's very simple we, we need just a box or a sphere and make it just a cube you can go for initialize and go for qq so this is gonna make a low poly cube and we just make this all a part all the box you can see just it and you can just key, uh, delete the green part control shift click tail hidden i have uh, my custom one so if you have you can use it tail hidden so delete the height and now i just insert the polygon form insert it and delete this middle path and just q mesh polygon poly, just like this okay so this is not a uh, big thing so i can now easily apply the dynamic so it will take a subdivision level of three i have done the three so that's why so now it's time for take this this i can make it thicker this this is okay now i need the strap of the glass so i just need d you can uh, cu use curve flat for this and uh, if i just curve curve flat will not work on subdivision uh, objects so i need to delete the subdivision or to freeze it i will delete it now i just uh, this is rotating okay. this is okay so right now i will change curve bend it upside down it will help you to move the curve and the size also will keep up for good sizes so i just need this this okay so this size this is uh, rotating i don't need to be rotate this i only need straight this so it's okay for me i will adjust this with my move tool you can use the uh, z vertical press move option so it will be only the point which you select this is okay for me and now i'm going to make it thick you can use also move tape brush move this and i need to i need to separate this green object to the strap from the strap and for this i can split group split okay so this is separated right now on the sub tool and go for the q mesh poly group all make it a little bit thicker but it will look like a belt and i can just make it increase uh, the edges and like this if i now click d or dynamic subdivision on i think it will look better d you can see this is look like step you can change it on curve whatever you want so This is looking good, and I'll need to need do this or two things to be mirrored. Just mirror it with x axis, and take the dynamic gap subdivision on and make this mirror. So you can see the all over file is ready for the uh, you know, UV unwrap, and it also be ready for uh, the print done. So I hope you like this video. Hope this information helps you to make. The same as if you want to make the classes the same as this, you can make it from here. Stay tuned for the next videos. Thank you.